Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Actors seem to have a lot of jobs besides just acting. They're also supposed to look good, learn how to cope with being famous, and be fit enough to fulfill the roles they play. This is probably why some of them are paid millions of dollars. However, not all of them actually do their own stunts. We all love a good stunt double, and nobody is trying to put them out of business, but when an actor does his own stunts, it's just that much more admirable, isn't it? Let's tip our hats to them in this list of the top 10 actors who do their own stunts. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And in the comment section, tell us who your favorite actor or actress is. Number 10, Burt Reynolds. This old school heartthrob has, let's face it, the second best stash of all time. Only second to myself, of course. During his on-screen work, he was always one to attempt his own stunts, like when he rolled out of a canoe into a raging river. There was even that one time when he jumped out of the Atlanta Hyatt Regency in Sharky's Machine. In one of his first films, Navajo's Land, he was cast precisely for his ability to do his own stunts, and also because he looked like Marlon Brando, who the director actually wanted for the part. Number 9. Angelina Jolie Jolie is known for a lot of things. The full lips, the vial of Billy Bob Thornton's blood that she wore, or her dozen kids, her humanitarian work. But also, she would do her own stunts, from jumping out of moving cars to hanging off buildings and working out until her body is ready for any of that stunt work, she is there for it. Not too long ago, she was injured during the filming of Salt. She gashed her face open just below the eye, which left a permanent scar while rolling through a door with a gun. She later laughed it off, saying it was a ridiculously easy scene. Number 8. Harrison Ford Everyone's favorite adventurer, Harrison Ford, is more than just looks. Unlike Liam Neeson, everyone's second favorite badass, Ford did all of his own stunts, even in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which was shot when he was in his mid-60s. He collected his fair share of small wounds, but he's still in one piece. As he's gotten older, though, he's admitted that in recent movies, the more dangerous scenes, he will have a stuntman step in. Number 7. Scarlett Johansson Scarlett may be short, but she's no wuss. She became one of America's favorite superheroes in 2018 and has become a staple of the Marvel Enterprise. While she doesn't do all of her own stunts, saying that in Iron Man 2 and Captain America, the most dangerous ones were done by her double, she does as much as her insurance agent will allow her. First of all, the hand-to-hand -hand combat is basically all of her, and the weapons training was intense. To add, she did 90-minute workouts seven days a week. Every time she could do a stunt, she stepped up and did it. Those combat scenes are no easy feat, and I now have even more respect for her as an actress. Number 6. Arnold Schwarzenegger No surprise here. Sure, he doesn't do all of his own stunts, which is fairly common. But I mean, have you seen the stunts expected from him? Many of his films do involve his own stunts, though, like in the Conan movies and in Commando. Mostly because Arnold Schwarzenegger lookalikes are hard to come by, especially ones that are professional stunt doubles. As a result, he's done things like wrestle wolves, fall from 40-foot towers, and jumped off planes. As governor of California, he had to do much worse than that, so I'm sure he had no complaints. Number 5. Jackie Chan our favorite hilarious Hong Kong actor Jackie Chan inspired many a young kid to karate chop their living room table. That wasn't done without injury, though. He had plenty of broken bones. He started out in acting trying to work as a stuntman himself after trying to work for the Peking Opera. But the world had bigger plans for him. He's now one of the world's most famous and prolific martial arts film actors. Even shooting Rush Hour, the third installment, Chan was hit hard with a table and returned the next day as usual. Some of his biggest stunts include falling six stories in Jackie Chan's Project A, getting hit by a helicopter in Police Story 3, Super Cop, crawled over real burning coals in The Legend of the Drunken Master, and sliding down 21 floors on the side of a building in Who Am I? 
Number 4. Zoe Bell It's no surprise that Zoe Bell does her own stunts. She's actually a stunt woman. She doubled for Lucy Lawless and Sharon Stone before she made her film debut in Death Proof, funny enough playing a stunt woman named Zoe Bell. She was fully prepared for the role, knowing exactly how to cling to speeding cars like a pro, exactly like the pro she already is. Maybe the true road to stardom isn't waitressing, but stunting. Number 3. Keanu Reeves Besides being the internet's most favorite actor, he also does his own stunts. Keanu may be a heartthrob and a real down-to-earth guy in real life, but in the movies, he's his own badass. As Neo in The Matrix, he blew everyone away. I mean, who doesn't do a Neo dodging bullets every now and then? According to Keanu Reeves himself, 90% of the action you'll see in a John Wick franchise movie is really him. He talks openly about how the secret to him keeping it up and together was a nightly ice bath. Number 2. Gal Gadot If Gadot isn't a perfect example of actresses who were badass before their acting career, I don't know who is. She served two years in her home country, Israel's military, as an enlisted soldier, actually specializing as a combat instructor. She has real-life combat experience and knowledge about weapons. She did all of her own stunts for Fast and Furious 5 and 6. After everything that was expected of her in the military, her stunts in the Fast and Furious movies might seem almost easy. Number 1. Sylvester Stallone Another true badass, Stallone has felt the pain of being his own stunt double. Would you call that a stunt single? Oh well. While working on The Expendables, he just didn't get sprained or scratched up, he actually broke his neck. He was doing a fight scene with Steve Austin and sustained a hairline fracture. After all the years of fighting, working, bending, jumping, and looking like a crazed maniac badass though, he's still in one piece, for the most part. He's known for doing his own stunts, like a scene in Rocky IV when he told Dolph Lundgren, punch me as hard as you can in the chest. He later said, next thing I know, I was in intensive care at St. John's Hospital for four days. While filming a fight scene with Steve Austin for The Expendables, he broke his neck, which required the insertion of a metal plate. And during the filming of Escape to Victory, he broke a finger trying to save a penalty kick from Pele. Thanks for watching. Which one of these movie actors have amazed you the most knowing they performed their own stunts? Are there others you'd include on this list? Let us know in the comments. You don't need a stunt double for what comes next. Heck, it's not even dangerous or hard to do. Subscribe to the channel, click the notifications bell, and give this video a like.